In the sport of men's ultimate, two programs have risen above the rest, Colorado and Wisconsin. Each has won a national championship in the new millennium. Each can attract the best players in the country to Madison and Boulder. But they have not faced each other for the national title. That is until today. The Hodags, Mama Bird, next on CSTV. city of the Buckeye State, Columbus, Ohio, welcoming us back for the second year in a row as the top two collegiate teams in North America face their final battle. Fans file in from Ohio and across the country as today Wisconsin Hodags and Colorado Mombird lay it all on the line for their chance to become a part of history and capture the collegiate championship title. It's the 2007 UPA College Ultimate Championships. Hi everyone, Kevin Delaney here along with Kyle Weisbrod, member of the 2000 Collegiate Champions from Brown and Kyle, with the amount of energy around the stadium right now, I'm sure you feel like things have changed since your championship bid. Certainly, and the biggest change is the popularity of the sport. The popularity has been growing by leaps and bounds, you can see it in the fans in the, st in the stands, as well as by the talent in the, on the teams. These players have been playing high school ultimate in the growing high school scene and have come here to prove that they're the best. Now you got to take a look at our top two teams. Wisconsin Hodags have run through the championship series and dominated here at this finals. Wisconsin is a talented and deep team led by number two Dan Heyman. Look for these guys to play all of their guys and spread out their offense with players on all sides of the disc. Well, Wisconsin incredibly deep, and that is a little bit of contrast to Colorado Mama Bird, who uses a few tall and fast players to make the disc connect in the end zone. Colorado is all about their top end talent. No one, no more top end than Bo Kittredge number 50. This athlete is superior, is going to dominate on both sides. Look for his speed and his jumps to get him over receiver defenders and making big plays on both sides. Well, big plays are going to be the play of the game. I'll tell you that right now. We are going to the rules of the game. Break it down, Kyle. Ultimate is a field sport play with a flying disc on a football sized field with 25 yard end zones. It's played seven on a side. Game starts with a disc being pulled, kicked off from one end zone to the other end zone. Once the disc is in motion, you can't run with it. If you turn it over, meaning you throw it out of bounds, the other team blocks it, they get the disc and they're going the other way. Games are played to 15 points, uh, win by two, and two timeouts per half. There's no more important rule than self officiating All players make calls themselves, and observers will rule when there's questions about calls. Well, Kyle, you talked about the uh, feverish crowds in today's game of Ultimate. These, these fans are packed into this stadium and they are ready to go. The Colorado starting lineup reads Bishop, Davidson, Salvia, Taylor, Kittredge, Smith, and Dahl. The Wisconsin Hodags well-rounded team. Dan, Q-Tip, Miller, Scallett, Locke, Malachek, Annan, Hohenstein, and Mayowald. We get ready for the first pull. Here in the first half, the game getting underway with what resembles a kickoff in disc. It's called a pull in the sport of ultimate. And we will learn about many terminal terms in the sport of ultimate with the ultimate 101. Kyle, the pull. Brandon Malachek lines up to pull. Brandon is known for one of having one of the strongest forehands in the college division. He's going to start pulling with a forehand. Big roller. We have a strong crosswind here blowing towards the cameras. And the disc rolls out of bounds. Jolien Dahl, number 60 from Colorado, goes to pick up the disc. Wisconsin starts out in a forced forehand defense. Jolien's trapped on the line. Jolien goes right away deep. Sees Bo Kittredge. Bo has a good read on it, but it hangs up for a second. And Bo tries to come down with it, but can't. Looks like the field is bucked by Lockie, the defender on that play. Excuse me, Maywald was the defender on that play. Lockie was involved as well. Bo Kittredge here going up. Looks like their arms got kind of tangled up. Bo's right arm and Maywald's left arm. What you're seeing right here is the self officiating across in, in ultimate. Bo calls the foul. Maywald contests. They couldn't work it out themselves, so the observer rules. The observer rules no foul. And Wisconsin picks up, and they go the other way with it. Malachek deep to Lockie. Lockie gets a good rebound. Pair kicks it in. He's a yard outside the end zone for Wisconsin. 
And Wisconsin gets the first break of the game to Maywald. Locked into Maywald for the goal and 1 0. Wisconsin takes the first goal of this year's UPA College Championship Finals. What an exchange for the men out in the first few minutes of this title bout. Hodag's answer with the first score. Big throw downfield. Kyle, take us through it. Malchek pins to his backhand and releases a nice big forehand. It's got a little edge on it, but it managed to hang in there. Malchek throws very nice. Lockie reads it perfectly, catches it in his chest, and then just pivots and fakes until he gets an open Maywald for the goal. Maywald just watches it in and puts it up in the air. Strong lateral cut from Maywald. Great read. Maywald with his first point on the board, and the Wisconsin Hodags go up a position they were not able to capitalize last year. They're returning visit here to Central Crossing Stadium where they finished second to Florida in a disappointing loss 15 to 12 at the UPA championships. Wisconsin seems to come in here with a renewed sense of purpose here looking to take it after finishing coming so close last year. This team is strong. This team is very deep and they're definitely dedicated to the sport. You can't help but uh, you know as you get to know the guys from Wisconsin they are Basically, they live by the it takes, it takes a village philosophy. All of their players are basically standout stars, incredibly fast, great handlers, so they bring depth and experience to the field here today. That's a great pull by Melichick. He gets to land inbounds and roll out of bounds right at the cone. Forces Colorado to take it at the cone, go on the downwind side of the field. Colorado in black. It is going to be Wisconsin in baby blue, their toughest color. And Dahl puts it again, deep to Bo. This time Bo gets the better read on Maywall. He comes down with it. Bo's on the goal line. And finds Mac Taylor for the score. Mac Taylor, number 40. Mac Taylor had a big semifinal game with two goals and four assists. He's come up big this season for Colorado. And the numbers from Go Bo Kittredge game after game in his semifinal bid Four goals, five assists, four Ds. We'll see a lot of play from Kittredge. Julian squeezes that one through Wisconsin's cup. Maywall just gets a bit of a misread on it, and Bo reads it perfectly, runs it down, and gets the easy score for the for Colorado. Ties it up at ones. It's Mac Taylor with some strong play following Kittredge downfield to enable that score. Let's take you to break from UPA College Ultimate Championships, Colorado, Wisconsin. It's all tied up. The UPA College Ultimate Championships on CSTV are brought to you by Discraft, official disc of the UPA College Championship Series and the world leader in custom printed discs. For more information, go to www.discraft.com. 